Today we're going to put a throttle return bracket and springs on a small block Chevy with a Holley four barrel carburetor. This particular return spring and bracket came from Jegs, but I've seen this almost exact same one from a few other retails. I know you can get it on Amazon and they're all essentially the same. They've got this chrome bracket the dual springs and um, a little adapter to connect to your linkage. So we'll go ahead and we'll go back in time and I'll step you through how to put this onto your Holley four barrel carburetor. First we got to remove the nut on the front driver side stud of the carburetor and in my case it's got a bolt here which isn't ideal but it's going to be all right here. Now if you look at these two drilled holes here, it's either going to be a 1032 or it's going to be a quarter 20. In my case it's a quarter 20. So they've got a little supplied bolt for that. But what that means is that we have to drill this hole out a little bit bigger to fit a quarter 20 through. We drilled it out using a quarter inch bit. Now I just have to apply this spacer. You can apply it on your stud, which you most likely have, but because I'm just using a bolt, I'm just gonna kind of set it in place there. And then we can wiggle the bracket in. And then we'll drop the bolt in. That started with our fingers. I'm going to put a lock washer on this so I don't have to crank it down too tight and it'll stay in place. I'll put a little bit of Loctite on the supplied quarter 20. And I'm going to use blue because it's going to be a little easier if I ever have to take this off, but it should still hold okay. kind of strange, but the head of this bolt is 10 millimeters, which makes me question if it's a quarter 20 or what's going on. Make sure not to over tighten anything here because this is all aluminum, so it'd be really easy to strip it out. On this carburetor, I've got this tab here, which is going to interfere with the linkage. So we're going to go ahead and just bend that back a little bit. So we've got this hardware that comes with the kit. And the instructions are kind of confusing, so you kind of have to adapt it to however works best for you. But I'm going to put the first shim on. I'm going to put the second shim on facing towards the first shim. And that way this can sort of spin freely, which is something I kind of want. I'll put the third shim. And this kind of seems to line it up pretty nice with this bracket. And I'll face that away so it can locate nicely in this hole. But there's no washer in the kit and you definitely are gonna need a washer. So I've got a little quarter inch 
washer here. And then I'll use the nylock nut. But if you don't use that washer, there's really nothing that's going to hold this onto your um, throttle linkage here. And now we'll go ahead and we'll snug that down. And the kit comes with two heavy springs and two light springs. So you can kind of choose which ones of those you want to use. And there we have it. Got a nice throttle return. Goes back all the way every time. Not too hard. If you like automotive videos like this, make sure to click the little subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.